Imagine the last photo someone ever takes of you is you struggling for air as you slowly drown. Or a photo taken by your ex who would then kill you only moments later. These scenarios sound pretty unbelievable and gruesome, but they are true. And I'll be discussing these and more only on today's top 10 list. Starting off this countdown, we have Carter Christensen. This photo is of Carter Christensen. On this day, Carter went for a free solo climb alone at Flat Irons in Boulder, Colorado. He was an experienced climber and had gone on several trips alone. However, this would be his last. Shortly after this photo was taken and posted to his social media, he fell more than 100 feet down the cliff to his death. Carter was not using any sort of safety gear while climbing. No other climber saw him fall, but they heard it happen and tried to help. However, when first responders arrived, Carter was already dead. They don't know if the selfie had any correlation to his death or if he just slipped and fell while climbing. Either way, it's incredibly sad and also heartbreaking to see this photo of him. He looks so happy on his climb. Little did he know it would be his last. Moving on to number nine, we have the burning windmill. Back in 2013, two young mechanics were doing maintenance work on a wind turbine when it unexpectedly caught fire. The fire spread fast into the their only escape route, making it impossible for them to descend the turbine without being scorched by the flames. This is the last photo ever captured of them. It shows the two standing on top of the turbine holding on to each other. The photo was taken by a bystander. Shortly after this photo was taken, one of the men jumped or fell off the turbine to his death. The other stood on top until eventually the flames got to him. These two young men went to work thinking it was going to be just a normal day but it wasn't. Imagine how they must have felt being trapped up there. It's so devastating. Moving on to number eight, we have the deadly selfie. Another sad story of a selfie gone wrong. In 2016, a man decided to go with his friends to explore a waterfall in India. That's when he decided to descend to a lower level near the waterfall so he could have it in the background of his selfie. His friends warned him not to, but he did it anyways. The photos you see here are of him just before he fell off the cliff and 170 feet into the water below. Apparently while climbing down, he lost his grip and he fell. People caught this on video and took several photos as it happened. What's sad is that in the video, one of the men in the background can be heard saying, he is gone after he fell. In our seventh spot, we have Jolie Callen. On this day, 18-year-old Jolie Callen went on a hike with her ex-boyfriend. Jolie wanted to still remain close friends with her ex even after they broke up. But he wasn't happy about this at all. On the hike, he shot her twice and then pushed her off the mountain. Before doing so, he took several photos of her on the hike and posted it to his Instagram. He turned himself in later that day. On his Instagram, he posted the photos with the caption, Oh yeah, just enjoying the view. And oh, at Jolie is a kitten, the photographer. I find it especially scary that Jolie has her back to the camera in these photos because she literally had no clue what was going on behind her back and had no idea that the guy she once loved would then take her life. In our sixth spot, we have the cliff selfie. Sadly, over the years, the number of people dying from taking selfies on cliffs has increased. This case happened just recently. A couple of months ago, a woman named Elisa went out for a walk with her friend as a celebration after her city lifted the lockdown. While on this walk, she climbed over a safety fence to pose for a photo with the park's waterfalls in the background. However, after the photo was taken, she slipped on the grass and fell 115 feet down to her death. Her traumatized friend called the authorities right away, but there was no way she would have survived that fall. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the traveling duo. Minakshi Morthy and Vishnu Vishwanath were travel bloggers that documented all their travels for their followers to see. The couple had traveled to a number of places like Niagara Falls and the Grand Canyon. Sadly, their trip to Yosemite National Park would be their last. It's still unclear what happened, but it's believed that the couple were setting up their tripod and camera near the edge of the Taft Point cliff when they fell over 1,000 feet to their death. The last photo of them were from that day. Another couple had been taking selfies near that same point and realized that they captured Minakshi in the background of one of their photos. They also reported that the two had been there as it was starting to get dark. Could it be that they fell from having low visibility? We don't know. But their bodies had been discovered after their camera equipment was found abandoned at Taft Point. The creepiest thing? On Instagram, it seems almost like Minakshi foreshadowed her own death. On a post with a photo of her sitting on a cliff in the Grand Canyon, she wrote, A lot of us, including yours truly, is a fan 
fan of daredevilry attempts of standing at the edge of cliffs. But did you know that wind gusts can be fatal? Is our life worth one photo? It's very, very creepy considering what happened to them. In our fourth spot, we have Gary Box. Chances are, while browsing the internet, you have seen this very famous photo. This is a photo of a man named Gary Box, a firefighter who sadly passed away trying to rescue people during 9 11. This was the last photo ever captured of Gary. In the photo, you can see him running through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel towards the towers among traffic. In fact, Gary's family never got closure as to what actually happened to him. His body was never found. Nine years after this photo was taken, the family finally found it online. And I mean, that was the last time that they saw Gary, so in a way, seeing him in action that day brought some closure for them. Moving on to number three, we have the Thai Diver. Back in 2018, 12 boys and their soccer coach were trapped in a cave in Thailand. Apparently after practice, the coach took them to explore a set of caves in which some of the boys were familiar with. But upon doing so, the weather turned bad and the cave began to flood. Trying to avoid the water, this pushed them further and further into the cave. That's when Navy SEAL diver Simon Kunin came in to try and save the boys. Kunin and his team had to transfer oxygen tanks to the 13 individuals. However, while doing so, he ran out of air and lost consciousness in one of the passageways. This is the last photo ever taken of him. It was taken just before going to try and rescue the boys. His passing is very sad, but he died a hero, and because of him and his team, the boys survived. In our second spot, we have the drowning. A couple of years ago, a class of students decided to go on an outing together. This involved going for a short dip and having a picnic. While swimming, the group decided to take a photo together. Little did they know that they captured one of their friends, Vishwa, drowning in the background. They were completely unaware that he was drowning right behind them. Now before you all comment saying how didn't they hear him? Well, drowning is actually more silent than you think. It's because yelling or screaming or splashing uses energy and oxygen, which your body is trying to reserve. The group then went on with their day. An hour later, they were reviewing the photos when they saw Vishwa in the background. They were horrified and rushed back to the spot he had been. But by then, it had already been an hour and Vishwa had already passed. And in our number one spot, we have Marco Sofredi. Marco Sofredi was a French snowboarder and mountaineer. He was determined to be the first person ever to snowboard down Mount Everest. In 2001, Marco and his friends climbed Mount Everest. However, when they reached the top, they found that there was not enough snow for him to board down. So they took a different route down. But Marco was set on going down that one specific route. So a year later, he went back to the same spot. This time, he was excited to see that there was enough snow for him. Now, the trek to the top of the mountain took 12 and a half hours. The team suggested camping out for the night and that they could all board down the next day. But Marco had come this far. It was his dream. So he decided, despite being overly exhausted, to head down the mountain. This photo was the last photo ever taken of him. It was taken right before his descent down the mountain. He was never seen again. His body was never found. To this day, they don't know what happened to him, but his friends believe that he collapsed on the mountain from exhaustion and then tumbled into the mountain's ravines. Okay guys, I know that was a pretty uh, sad video, so let's try and brighten the mood with some comment shoutouts. I'll be shouting out comments in the video, top 10 dark airplane stories you wish were fake. DLC Blue commented, I'm glad this channel exists, you're the best. I'm glad subscribers like you exist, cause you're the best. <laughs> Pepper and Salts commented, I have a riddle. Two fathers and two sons go fishing. All of them caught one fish each. Oh, all of the fish all together is three. How is that possible? Well, my friend, I did not Google this, I promise. That means while fishing, it was the granddad, a dad, and then the dad's son. So that's three people right there. Two dads and two sons, three fish. One fish per person, if that makes sense. Like I said, leave a riddle in the comments below. I promise I will not Google it. I will answer it in my next comment shout out because I'm really good at riddles. <laughs> oh, and more commented, you're overreacting. Okay, I'm sorry, but a pilot getting sucked out of an airplane and holding on for his dear life as his head gets smashed against a plane is me overreacting? No, 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 that's some pretty scary stuff that's going on there, okay? Anyway, and that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.